90% with let's go. Okay, now okay. So yeah, last night there was a very short um Line two. We're not going to line these fields until winter. I'm not too fussed about lying on grass, but uh, we do that once a year just to keep the pH up. But yeah, I figured. There was only a short um, amount of work left on railroad for day 14, so I figured I'd get that done yesterday. Um, off camera, I'm finishing off the passenger service because I don't see the point. Hey, let's stream a passenger train running up and down the tracks for an hour. That's kind of boring. I run out of things to say, so. Uh, We'll be back with a new Railroader episode sometime in the coming week, possibly. And I will... Um, it'll be the start of day 15. And day 15, I expect to be quite hectic because we've got all of the new industries at Larka to get their first uh, delivery. Actually, this isn't too bad. I mean, the, the field information said, well, it's okay. But we're not going down very fast, so that's a good thing. I think the issue was when I planted the corn, I did, or the maize, I did not um, do the, the liming for that. So we got slightly poor maize yield. Which is why our environmental scores are a little bit poor for this field. Obviously it will be better. We'll get this sprayed, we'll get it planted and then uh, Then we have to wait till October. Yeah, October to spray it, weed it, and do all the things there. So this month we really once that once I've done the seeding, we we're pretty good. Grand scheme of things, this probably won't take us too long. Although it is a big field, so longer than most lining trips. Because I'm using a direct drill on a cultivated ground, uh, but because I'm using a direct drill, we will get maximum seeding score. Obviously, the lime and the fertilizer will not make a difference to our score until we harvest next year. But that's fine. Don't have GPS on this tractor. Also, don't have a lot of lime left in it either. Well, I guess if I get to the top at about 50%, oh, missing bits on the right there. I don't think I'm actually missing it, I'm just thinking the. the uh, 
course it the texture plotter doesn't reach all the way to the edge of the sprayed area. So we've still got more than 50%. I'm going to go around, and we've got enough to go around it once more. But that's kind of why you need 50,000 litres of lime. Because, uh, tend to use a fair amount doing this. Oops. We are on auto, yes. So I've been following Virtual Farmer, he's been doing a Chip, chip in Norton series which is where Clarkson Farm is based um, and he's been noticing that at least for contracts if you do the headlands, the headlands count for sometimes as much as 50% of the contract even though they're only 20% of the uh, the ground area which is a little bit weird but it means that doing the edges is more important than doing most of the middle I don't know how that impacts what I'm doing here obviously But that could be why when we do baling contracts on small fields, because I'm not getting right into the corners, I'm losing a huge percentage or, or a huge part of that completion percentage. Now obviously when you do the big fields, the corners don't account for as much of the field area as they do on a small field. So that's kind of good to know that well I missed some small corners, what's up here? It accounts for more of the uh, completion than you thought it did. And also the graphical effect on the line tends to continue for a little bit longer after you've cleared the part of the field that actually needs it. So the, the texture application versus how much of the field I've done is uh, a little bit of disparity there so I'm getting here and right now I have completed the field but it's still spraying lime it's basically it's emptying the um, the spreader um, channels so it's complete it's completing the animation of running the uh, the line through the spreader. Okay, give my foot a rest. I might not have GPS, but we do have cruise control. Or at least the tractor equivalent, which is a um, sort of a hand throttle 
adjustment mechanism. Okay, we're now down to 17%. What does the fuel look like going that way? And okay. I think what I can do here is we'll run across the top of the field a couple of times until the, uh, the tank's empty. I'm going to go and see if I can fill that bit in there. And that would be enough. Okay. Alright. So, 9%. We'll run this empty. And we'll go get some more. And then I'll do the north-south roads rather than east-west roads. I just don't see the point right now of running back to the farm when I've still got 8% of the tank is got stuff in it. So, guessing I can get across and back and then we'll go refill on 2%. Actually, might end up empty for before then. Huh. Okay, this won't last long. Seriously, guys, quit with the weather. Although that's possibly three hours away, I'm guessing. And actually, why am I reversing up to the liquid tank? Lime is not a liquid. Okay, a couple of things to check on. Um, blah, 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 bloody, bloody, blah. T6, I haven't driven one of those for a while. Oh, yes. This came up in the store sale. Oh, that's big and cultivatory. So I have been saying I want to get tractors in the 250 range to give me a little bit more, um, midday, um, a little bit more. Uh, stuff a um, little bit more power we can run slightly heavier equipment because we got some equipment that is 2 here 50 horsepower and this tractor is only about 220 the new holland that we have is about 205 um, so being able to use a 250 horsepower tractor 
would be of some benefit to us. So I could get a Lamborghini. Oh, yeah. I need a Lamborghini. I need a Lamborghini. I'm going to go on the way to do my stuff. Okay. So I might trade in the New Holland and get myself a Lamborghini. Don't need a Lamborghini. I don't know. A Lamborghini tractor? Yes. Like Jeremy Clarkson? Yes. Oh my gosh. And you gotta get a big shed for... I have a big shed. Except my big shed is big enough to drive a Lamborghini into. But you don't need a Lamborghini tractor. Why not? Because your tractor is perfect. I need a bigger tractor. Get John Deere. There aren't any on sale. Have you got the Lamborghini ones on sale? Yes. Mm. Can you even afford it? Yes. Mm. Especially if I start the New Holland. So, yeah, this weekend kids didn't come over, so it's a peaceful weekend for some of us. People don't have to get up at seven o'clock in the morning, so teenage Osa gets up at nine, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, because why not? Um, bought some new fish this week, like, uh, what's it about? Two weeks ago, I think we bought a few platies because we've been the population in the tanks been getting a little bit low. So I got some panda platies and some sort of navy blue platies, and uh, they've all had babies so. There are at least a dozen very, very tiny fish that if you look hard enough, you can see them flittering around in the tank. And then I did some read up on algae uh, control. It's very difficult to control once you get an algae bloom in the tank, but it doesn't hurt the fish. Fish don't really care. Some of them will eat the algae. Um, it can adversely affect your plants because it can grow on the leaves and restrict the plant's ability to absorb light. Which for our plant might naturally not be a bad thing because we've got the plant that I keep having to prune and just throw vast tracts of it away because it's taking over the tank. But uh, it gives the fishes somewhere to hide. But Friday I went and I bought a couple of plecos, actually three of them, and uh, they're now suctioned to the side of the tank and eating a lot of the algae that's sort of growing on the glass. I don't leave it on the glass for long enough that it obscures, but it can be... Um, You know, it's, it's kind of like looking through a windshield where you got some mud on it and it's rained a couple of times, so it's very streaky, so you can see what's outside, but um, you've just got streaky bits all over the window. So that's kind of what the, the fish tank looks like at some time. But uh, that's slowly being eaten away. You can see I bought snails at the same time I bought the fish and the snails have done an okay job with the algae. You can see streaks through the algae where a snail's been recently and then I have a scraper and every so often I'll scrape off a bit. But I'm hoping the plecos will, will really lay into the stuff. And uh, 
we'll have a better um, result of uh, algae reduction. I also remembered I had a little um, sort of straight narrow wire brush um, so I cleaned out the um, filter pipes as well yesterday. That made a bit of a difference. Oh, come on, tractor. So we'll try and get this done. What's the time? 8.30. I hope I can get the field planted before midday. Here we've got less than half a tank of nine. This bit's getting chewed up quite quickly. So kind of glad um, Streamlabs had added this uh, facility to the widget so you can actually get notified when someone chats. Because as I said before, I've got, I'm running on two PCs here. I've got the, the Office PC is just running a browser monitoring the Twitch channel on uh, Moderator View. And then I've got... Um, my main gaming PC which is right in front of me. The office PC is on the side desk because that's the desk where I do working and the desk in front of me is where I do personal stuff. So I can't actually see the chat and it doesn't overlay to the game screen at all. It might do if if I did something like um, play in Windows mode, I could have a chat window that pops up over the game, but uh, that's not a thing right now. So frequently I miss um, first chats when they come in. So I'm kind of hoping that this widget will notify me when someone says something so they don't say hi oh are you paying attention oh i'm just going to go up and somewhere else because you're obviously not talking to people i'm hoping there'll be less of those incidents going forward and what else have we got as i said we've got a new um, course play update. Not sure what was part of it, but we may uh, we may find out some things about that later. Since we've got so little work to do, I'm probably not going to do course play until or use course play until I get onto the sugar beet harvest because obviously I'm going to have to be hauling sugar beets out. And I can't drive the harvester oops, while stuff needs to be hauled places. So I can't remember where the sugar beet are. processing is. So anyway, that's all a thing. I think there was another couple of updates. Not anything particularly groundbreaking. I'm generally I'm not adding new mods into this game save because we're we're so close to the end. It's kind of like the farm is what the farm's going to be. Um, I may end up getting some cows. I probably get a cow pasture than a cow shed. 
Um, I'm going to use the um, the map versions because they support more food and more animals. Because I'm using Get Maze Plus, um, cows do eat a lot more food and produce a lot more milk per cow. So what I don't want to have happen is I buy a bought small shed that will support 25 cows and then I have to keep dumping food into the trough every five minutes just to make sure they've got enough to keep them going. Or the, the milk um, storage is not big enough to uh, hold more than 10 minutes of milk production, that type of thing. So I could play with that. I could see what's what's what. But it involves downloading more mods and yeah. I will basically be really happy if by the end of this series 